You might be thinking, this doesn't look like any of the cars we've ever driven. It's not my Ford. It's not the black Ford. It's not Hunter's little Fiat. It's not little Big Ben out there. No, this, this is our new car. So we went ahead and bought a 2006 Mercury Montego. It's not too bad. I mean, Hunter needed a car because he's going to have to give away, or not give away, but give the white one, his little Fiat back to his family. And Big Ben is not operational right now. So we wanted to get him something that'll that'll work for the time being, we decided to get an auction car. Um, it's not a bad, I mean, it came with as much trash as is in it right now. It's got a good 174,000 miles on it, um, but it runs, it drives. The power steering pump is out, which is only like $80 to replace. So, uh, I mean, it's a good deal. I know it's been a good, actually it's only been 11 days since I pa uh, posted the last video which isn't too bad. Today, we're gonna work on power washing the car, uh, probably vacuuming all the, the dirt and the nuts out of it that are still there. We're gonna get this thing as clean as I can get it right now. That way we can get to work on reinforcing the car, uh, getting it ready for the engine swap and the whole body swap and all that. We gotta do that soon. But uh, Hunter's in Colorado right now, uh, enjoying some family time with Hannah's family. So whenever he gets back, then we'll start crushing it out. We'll start working every weekend if we have to which we will, I mean, we're going to. Uh, but for now, I am going to go get all the pressure washing stuff set up. I'm gonna go get all the tools ready, get the water hose cooked up, and then I will start recording and showing y'all a time lapse of what the car looks like now, uh, which is about 30 to 35 years worth of dirt and dust and sun all hitting it, and then what it's gonna look like, I mean, in an hour where it's stripped clean. So let me go get working on it. There she is. All right, so obviously we're gonna have to clean up all this stuff. All the, we're gonna, I mean, get all this rust right here. Maybe I can pressure wash that off. Um, but all this right here, that's just the dirt. We're gonna have to vacuum all this up out of here. The stuff that I couldn't get from the video I did like two months ago, I think. Um, but yeah, let me start cleaning up all this junk that's still in here that we left. I'm gonna take this glass off. Um, and then I'm gonna get the vacuum out, which actually I think should be right in here. Yep. There's the pressure washer and there's the vacuum. Oh no. Now, Hunter used to work for small engine or used to work on small engines. So he's got a bunch of stuff that he has here that he's gonna work on. And Hunter also knows what to get in terms of products. And I thought he just had a normal little power pressure washer. But no, he has, <laughs> he has a Predator pressure washer. I think the one I have at my house, we bought just because we don't use it that very often. And it's a little, elect or yeah, electric one plug it in and turn it on. Let me get the vacuum going. Um, I'm gonna set my GoPro and that way y'all can see all the vacuuming going on because it's gonna be a lot of dirt coming out of here. I found a golf ball. But yeah, let me set it up real quick and I will start doing that. Have you noticed whenever I was doing that little vacuuming sequence in there? Um, I stopped for a second and pointed something at the camera, and what it turned out to be was a quarter. It's a quarter that has probably been in that car since it's been parked because uh, uh, they obviously didn't clean it whenever it was at the other place. But I was trying to read it, and it says 1976 on it, which is I mean, that's a pretty good year. It might be older than 1976. So you can see down there, it almost looks like it says 1776, but that's probably just referencing a date that everyone knows. I'm gonna continue cleaning up. I'm gonna, um, I threw all the stuff that was in there and put it into the trunk. That way I can get rid of it uh, as needed. At the end of this, we're obviously gonna take a magnet and suck up all the nuts and all that. That way we don't throw away. I don't know if I'm gonna clean the trunk actually. I don't think there's any point in vacuuming it at least 
Well, yeah, I probably should. Let me get working on that, and then I will come back in a second. I don't know, but <laughs> it looks so much better. Like, I haven't even pressure washed it or anything, but getting all this freaking dust out of here, it looks like it just opens it up so much. Um, I think it's turning out really well. So we got all this cleaned up so far, all the trunk. And I think, I'm not gonna really dive into this heavily. I'll probably just kind of vacuum that, uh, this little crevice right here. Try and get into these corners. There's a vent right here that I might try and get into. Um, there's still a lot to be done, but um, the pressure washer I'm hoping, I'm hoping will take care of most of it whenever I do that. So uh, I'm gonna do one more time lapse of getting all this cleaned out. Probably just set it right here. Y'all won't be able to see very much, but you'll, I'll be able to see it. Also, I don't remember if y'all know, or I don't know if y'all remember, we found this little hippo, put it right here. We found this little hippo in uh, Nixon, the blue car, uh, before we blew it up. We found Nixon actually in this compartment of the blue car, it's almost like a kid probably has stuffed it in through the AC or somehow got it in there through that vent down here and it had been stuck there for 30 years. So really this thing is probably, I want to say a good 35, 40 years old since those cars, the owner said had been sitting there for about 30 years. So. That's pretty cool. And then this is also from whenever I took it out of the of this car actually. It says made in England. I thought that was pretty cool. One I want to keep like little things about this stuff. That way I can make shadow boxes and um, have this car set up at a car meet somewhere and then ow. <laughs> have this car set up at a drive what is it fucking called? A uh, car meet. Have this car set up at a car meet and have all the monumentals stuff that we kept from it. Um, like actually I kept the, uh, I kept the steering column pretty much looks like that one. I kept the, kept the steering column out of Nixon. That way I can make a table out of it and we could use that in a, a podcast if we ever decide to do that again. Anyways, let me, uh, let me set up the GoPro that way I can vacuum that front end and then I will catch y'all up on that. And then after that is pressure washing, is my favorite part. The final vacuuming is done. Um, it looks, God, it's just crazy how all this dirt makes it look so nasty. But just that like 1% of dirt that we picked off is way better. Oh man, I forgot to get that. I can do that real quick. Uh, but as you can see, look at all these leaves that aren't there anymore. Um, forgot to also vacuum this little crevice but I can just do that with the pressure washer I took this glass off and put it in the storage that way we can keep it for later anyways I'm gonna put this away actually I'm gonna vacuum one more time but I'm not gonna show that because there's no point then I'm gonna get the pressure washer get that set up and it's gonna be a blast y'all remember when GoPros were indestructible? They could take on the world, right? Like this thing right here. It's one of the cheaper ones. It's the Hero Plus LED or something like that. And it was amazing. I threw it in water. I threw it down a mountain. It got near an explosion. This one fell two feet and it shattered. Not even just cracked it, shattered the screen. God dang it, now it's not focusing. This thing is fucking two months old. And it just shattered when it hit the ground. Like I heard it over the sound of the freaking pressure washer. Just Ugh. I don't know. It's like I'm afraid to use it now. Um, I don't want it to fall again and it fucking just destroy it. But 
God, I saved up money for this and GoPro couldn't make something that was indestructible. Granted, it's new and I should have had a case on it, but God. Like I could throw that one 100 meters. I can't throw 100 meters, but I could throw it 100 meters and it, it'd be fine. But, oh, that bummed me out. Anyways, we are, uh, I power wash this side. It's a little brighter, as you can tell. Uh, the inside is a little cleaner. This stuff is just really grimy. I just can't get it off. Uh, I pressure wash this. It's way brighter, such as that. Uh, I pressure wash this. It's not really a big difference. As you can see, I haven't even touched that one, and they kind of look the same on camera, so I'm not really going to record that one. Uh, I mean, just like this as well. This is pressure washed, and it's staying the same. Um, this stuff up here, it's coming off slowly, but I think if we want to get all this nasty uh, grayness out of it, we're going to have to really like get a brush and go on it. Uh, but for now, I think I'm, I'm not going to do that, obviously. This is not done yet. This, co is this is going to stay the same color. All this right here might come a little bit different um, so I might set y'all up with this camera let me find a place to set this up if I can if not then I'll just do it without showing y'all because it's not gonna be a great difference but let me see what I can find uh, I don't know where I'm gonna put y'all so I'm just gonna hold you and see how that goes that. Yeah, this thing turn out that bad um no that didn't turn out too bad i thought i was gonna get a ton more water on the camera but look at that that's i mean i told you all this was gonna look brighter uh that was gonna stay the same but as you can see like i said this all stayed here uh, all this dust but it'll come off if you see just giving it a good wipe down with a, a rag or maybe a a brush we can get it done the only side left right here is this side so let me see i think i'll try to get a camera set up for y'all over there let me see if i can get it done real quick If we get this car done in time for November, which it's getting kind of sketchy, so I don't know if we will. But if we get it done in time, we're obviously going to throw a paint over all of this. We're just going to rattle can it probably and get a nice bright color. That way we stand out. But uh, I think that's it for today's video. Um, also, <laughs> I pressure washed the sticker and it's brand new still. Like, not even a scratch on it. So just saying, if you want a sticker, they're still available. Uh, but anyways, thank you for watching the videos. I noticed the views have gone up and up and up ever since I started. I hope you enjoy them. If you do enjoy them, let me know what you want more of. Comment down in the comment section. Tell us what you want to see. Uh, we're obviously trying to get this done still. Um, share it with your friends. Share it with your family. Share it with your dog. Share it with whoever you want to. Um, I'm still really bummed out about that GoPro. I wish GoPro still made tough items and I know that some people are going to say like yeah I should have had a case on it and I agree I agree I should have had a case on it but I don't know uh thank you for watching the video I hope you guys enjoyed this is it for today's I will let y'all know I'll try and get out here next weekend again that way I can get some stuff done but anyways thank you for letting me know that you guys enjoy the videos by looking at them and watching them uh, I see the watch time is also going up, so I can see that y'all are going from just staying at the beginning of the video to going all the way to a little bit halfway in. But thank you for liking it, thank you for subscribing, and I will see y'all later.